All right, Tyrannus here. Making another video, basically a little update on my water dragons and their habitat. So I used to have two cages that were basically four feet tall, two feet wide, and two feet in depth. And what I've done now is actually I've combined them. So as you can see here, I gave them a really, pretty much the biggest dish, the biggest container of water I could find that would fit in between those two logs. That way there'd be enough space. And I put a filter, a power filter in right there. It's an Aquion, I think 40 to 55 gallon. So I said that should have some really good filtration. And basically just kind of left everything the same. Have a power sun, which kind of be difficult. Power sun along the top, I know kind of cheap looking, but it's been working really, really well. UV light on this side and the heat emitter. It's a 60 watt heat, heat emitter. Another good thing is that now that I basically have one cage, it's less light, less for me to pay as far as the light bill. You know, some people don't worry about the light bill, but I definitely have to worry about the light bill. I was paying around even like 200 a month for the light bill just because of all my reptiles. And now this is kind of helped quite a bit. That's another, another thing that we have to worry about. People that keep reptiles, a lot of people don't mention how much they pay for light, especially some of the big people that have a lot of reptiles, snakes, stuff like that. But it's kind of a bad example since they don't, in reality, once you get older, you basically have to be having to worry about everything, light, maintenance, feeding, how much it costs to just pretty much keep them. So there's another thing that you have to take into account, basically the light bill. It was really, it was getting really, really expensive. So this is kind of a way for me to save money. Another, another way I've been saving money is basically I've been keeping my, I've been breeding my own roaches. I know I haven't made a video, but I'm gonna show that probably really soon. And there's my big guy right here. Show my big water dragon. And <clears throat> I got some really cool hides. Just got some bamboo hides for them because I know any water dragons. They're always gonna be a little skittish at first. My little, my small little water dragon. At first he wasn't eating because I guess he wasn't adapted too well. But now he's been eating this little guy. I know he probably was intimidated with the big guy down at the end. But if he's starting to eat again, he's a little skinny. But he's been starting to eat again, so just give him a few more weeks and he'll be up to weight again. But other than that, there's nothing pretty much to mention. Just pretty much a really mean ass filter on the and that's about it. You guys have any questions? Let me know if you like it, what you think. Should I have more plants? Should I take stuff out? I don't know, let me know, all right? Take it easy, guys.